thank you so much for coming and, and being part of this today. That's, uh, well, that was Paul. Here, let me help you. Uh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for having me be a part of it. I don't know if you guys know this, but Will Wheaton is one of the like, genuinely most sort of kind, wonderful, sweet, uh, inspiring, and like, genuinely nerdy guys in the world. <laughs> On lots of layers to, to be here, so thank you very much for inviting me out. It means the world to me that you're here too. Thanks. Do you want a French? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hank Green. Thank you. So I, uh, I won't be at all offended if you head out. Um, because after this, we're just gonna say goodbye and thank you all. Um, and if you have something else to do, then if you're like, oh, I don't wanna be rude, that's fine. Uh, but this song I wrote as part of a songwriting contest that Paul and Storm put on. I wish I, they were here so I could thank them for doing that because this, this kind of contest are really great for me and really inspirational. This lost, this song, to Molly Lewis though, so it's okay. Molly Lewis fans. And uh, the songwriting prompt, it was with, a, with Ken Plume, um, and the songwriting prompt was, uh, write a happy song. And I had been thinking for a long time about writing a song about this fish that lives at the bottom of the sea. And, they, uh, and there's so few of them uh, at the bottom of the sea that it, it had to develop a really peculiar evolutionary strategy um, to survive. So, so the, basically, the, the situation is that there's so little food that the, in order to like survive, there has to be very few of them per you know square kilometer. And when it's time for sex, it's hard for them to find each other at the opportune moment um, when all of you know the stars on, whatever it is that these fish need <laughs> to get into the mood. It's fairly rare, and so so. The, the, the strategy they have developed is a very is this case of extreme sexual dimorphism. So we have a sort of superficial sexual dimorphism as humans. Uh, women have breasts, men have penises. Like we're, we look a little different. This is extreme. So the female anglerfish looks like a fish uh, with an angle on top of its head. Pretty cool. Giant teeth. Pretty creepy looking. The male anglerfish of the deep sea. There are many species of anglerfish. Not all of them use this strategy. The male anglerfish of the deep sea uh, is born tiny. And it will never get any bigger than that. It basically is a mouth, a nose, a tail to swim, some muscles for the tail, um, and some balls. And <laughs> what his entire like goal in life, his nose, is for sniffing out a female anglerfish. As soon as he's born, he used all of the energy that his mother gave him. Um, he's unable to eat. He's unable to survive in, in any way. All that he wants is to find a female anglerfish and bite her on the side. And, uh, you know, biting to each his own. Uh, we do this as well. But what does not happen when a male human bites a female human, luckily there is not an enzyme in the female human skin that dissolves his lips. <laughs> but that is what happens to the male anglerfish. Uh, their digestive systems, or their, their circulatory systems fuse, and her heart takes over in feeding and keeping him alive. And they are essentially the same organism. And he becomes basically just a pair of nuts on her side. <laughs> and I thought that, that story was so beautiful <laughs> that, I wanted, that I thought that it was a great uh, entry for write a song about being happy. <laughs> yes, it's true that I once went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with strife. Yes, I've been burned and I've been spurned and through it all friends I've learned that love is not about whether you get stabbed, it's how slow the knife gets turned. It's a happy song. <laughs> but my friends, I found an animal who doesn't feel this pain and my life is so much better now that I can feel the sea. Because you can't eat the knife If you live your whole life without light, you can't eat the dish If you've only ever eaten fish and you can't feel alone If it's all you've ever known Yeah, the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy But they have an idea of what else to be Well, the deep sea dwelling anglerfish are just a fun to be They are always there together, right? So the priority ain't something that they're not like a little bit
Fish has a reason to be happy, but it has 